And then I got... Well, this seems wildly inappropriate. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to a new video. We've had a new arrival in the sewing room, and I wanted to talk about it with you. So, if you're new to sewing, one of the things that you might start grappling with is a dress form. Or, what are they called in other places? Like, a mannequin, or... Dress form mannequin. There's another word for it. Anyway, a body double. Do you know what I mean? You may have seen mine lurking in the background sometimes, and I showed you in the last video how I do a little bit of draping. So there's two main ways to make pat. There's three main ways to sew a garment, which is you can buy a pattern, you can flat draft a pattern, you can drape a pattern. Now draping usually does require that you have a dress form. Some amazing people can drape on themselves. That's not me. <laughs> Uh, and so when I first started sewing, that was one of the first things I did was to get a mannequin a dress form because I was not a big fan of flat drafting. It was a lot of rulers, a lot of math, and I couldn't visualize the flat thing on the body. And so I wanted to get a dress form, which thought it would be easier. And it was. It was way easier. But I did feel a bit overwhelmed with the amount of options out there. I wasn't really sure what to get uh, and I mean it's been what five years now and I'm still not sure what to get but I got something new and I actually wasn't planning on making this video but then I realized maybe my mistakes will help someone out there who's looking into getting a dress form. So let's talk about my past dress forms is this gal. I'll show her on the stand for you in a minute as well. This is an adjustable dress form, so... I don't really know how to explain it. There's a bunch of cogs and gears inside and you turn these little things here and they these panels expand or contract to make different sizes. Now, this was expensive. When I first started sewing, all I had... I wasn't even... I don't think I was working full-time at the time. So I only had like my birthday money and stuff and I saved up for a while to get one and this was expensive like I think it might have been 180 pounds or something like that but in my head I thought this is kind of a sewing essential it'll be an investment and then the other reason I picked an adjustable one was because I personally find that my measurements change a lot like a lot depending on the <laughs> the, the time of the day day of the week, day of the month, my measurements change all the time. So one of the things that attracted me to this was that no matter how many times my body changed, it was easy to adapt the dress form to mirror my body, in theory. Uh, now they do these in ranges of sizes. I can't remember what this is. It might be a size 10 that expands up to a size 14 or 16 or something like that. It's like a range they give you. I didn't really know what my sewing was going to be like. Uh, there was still the potential of me working for other people, so doing commissions for other people and I thought I could just take their measurements and put them in the little cogs here and then it would allow me to work a bit easier for other people. Now obviously that hasn't come true because actually I did a couple of commissions and realised I hated it, so <laughs> no commissions over here. But um, it was still a useful thing, so if I ever had to sew for something else for someone else, it would still be a useful dress form to have. In theory. I actually really didn't like this dress form at all. I don't know, I can't even remember how I made it work in the past, but somehow I made it work in the past. And let's put it on the stand and I'll show you why. Okay, so here is my adjustable stand. Um, what can I tell you about it? So as I mentioned in the other bit, inside this is all made of these movable panels and inside there are like little plastic cogs that you turn, like this here, and they're at every sort of quarter of the body. So if you wanted to expand the bust, you would have to turn all four wheels, for, and then there's like a little sign with the scale of the measurement. So for example, at the moment it's uh, 84 centimeters or 33 inches. Now my bust, for example, is 38. So I would have to open this up a lot, and you just do this by turning the wheel. Oh, um, and this does have a brand. I think it's called the Lady Valet Dress Form, and I got it from a website in the UK called Jcots. 
Um, I have no reason to complain about that website at all. I think they had a really the best price around for this model and the shipping was really good and fast. So I do like that website. So at the moment I've gotten it up to 35, is that right? Yeah, 35 roughly. So you can see what happens when you start expanding it is that you start to get these slivers in the panels. And obviously this, the minimum size of this is when all the panels are together. And the minimum size of this, size of this is like an eight or a 10 or something, I don't know. It's very small and it's not me, basically. So when I, when I it did actually got it to my measurements, it was full of gaps. It was all just gaps, which made the fabric lay weird in some places. And then the other thing I really didn't like about it and this is something that I didn't realize until it arrived because I didn't really know that was a thing is that underneath this light layer of fabric it's plastic if you want to pin into this dress form you have to do it at an angle and it's just quite hard to secure stuff to it I mean yeah I should have known because obviously it can't be full of stuffing but if it had an additional layer of warding or something, it would have been easier to pin into. But yeah, it's just not great to pin into. And then the other thing is that, obviously you'll get this with a standard size dress form as well, is that although I can adjust the measurements horizontally, as soon as I have a proportional or vertical measurement issue, I can't do anything about it. Other than padding, of course. Uh, but this was before I knew about padding at all. So for example, um, you can see that these panels here are different from the waist and now there's like this weird gap here I don't know it's just really janky and I don't like it I found draping on it really hard and really awkward because of these gaps and the fact that you can't really quite pin into it so yeah I mean I think in concept a good idea in practice I didn't enjoy it and that's why I looked into making a second dress form so yeah, I wasn't altogether too happy with this dress form. It, I did stick with it for four whole years because I didn't really know what else to get. I didn't know what other options there were and I had this thought that dress forms were really expensive, which they are. So, I mean, it did last me quite a while and everything that I draped on it, I did make work because obviously I do a mock-up. So even if your first drape isn't great, you then do a mock-up to adjust it to your own body. So. I just don't think it's worth 180 quid, <laughs> basically. So my second option was actually to make one. So this over here is my second dress form. And I wanted to show you this because it's not a bad option, okay? So this is what I think some of you might be familiar, it's called a bootstrap dress form and this is because it's a company called uh, bootstrap patterns and what they do is they take really detailed measurements of your body that you give them yourselves and then they make sort of a 3d model of you and then that is used to adapt this standard pattern into a customized pattern for you then you have to sew it up with the instructions and then you have to uh, stuff it yourself and then you have to arrange a stand for it yourself. So the only thing you buy is a pattern and well, you have to buy the other supplies as well. But I think in general, this is a way more affordable option because the pattern itself, I think was something like $20 or maybe $30. And then you have to buy the materials yourself. But for me, for example, I bought this twill and it was only like two or three meters of twill. So it might've been around 15 pounds. So I used all of my leftover fabric and a little bit of polyester warding to stuff it. And so I used a lot of things already in my stash. And then for the pole, I got like a basic wooden rod from B&Q for I think like a fiver. And then I used the stand from my previous dress form. So it was all in all a very economical thing. It was really hard to do. And I'm, maybe it was just me, man, maybe. <laughs> maybe it was just me. But this is actually the second cover I sewed because the first one was awful and really didn't work because I skipped a step, which was to interface it. Don't skip it. If you're doing this, don't skip it. You might think you can get away with it, you can't. It won't work, please. But yeah, so in terms of this one, um, so the armholes I've got like a little bit of cardboard in here, uh, and then there's a bit of cardboard in the base and the neck. And it might look okay, it might look like an okay dress form, but I, it just doesn't work for me. I don't know what is wrong about it. Like I've measured these, so these lines are the bust 
under bust and waist, which I find very useful to have marked on the dress form. And I've measured them 600 times, and they're correct. These measurements are correct. But whenever I drape something on it, it doesn't fit me. And whenever I put something that fits me on it, it doesn't fit it. There's something wrong about the positioning of the chest, and there's something very wrong with the back. I don't know what it is. So it might work out for you. I think I know people that has it has worked out for them, really. And it's a very affordable option. It's customizable to you, to your body. And one of the great things about it is that it's super pinnable. That's one of the things I really like about this dress form is that you can just it's super easy to work with if it's the right measurements. <laughs> if it's not, you can still adapt it. Like you can add padding to it to make it up. But I don't, if you can't figure out what the problem is, and if it's like a proportional problem rather than just adding to the measurements, I just, I can't make it work. So I had to find a different alternative. This is an option. I would say if you're a beginner sewer though, this is really hard sewing. Like, maybe consider it a little bit. I will say though, hang on a second. The other thing I got from Bootstraps was a pattern to make arms for your dress form. Oh my god, these are amazing. These are absolutely amazing. They're super easy to make and all you have to do is you just sort of pin them on to your dress form, just like that. And then you've got arms. I love them. They're great. I It's just, it changes so much when you try on stuff on a dress form with an arm in. And I've tried this with other, on other dress forms and it works great. So I would definitely recommend the arm for them. <laughs> I just didn't want you to think that I didn't like the company because I actually think it's a really great idea. There was just something about my body that didn't work out. And it might have been on me, you know, it might have been my measurements that I supplied to them. So, yeah. Let's have a look at our new acquisition. Okay. So, <laughs> here's my new acquisition. So this is a vintage dress form. Uh, it's from the brand Stockman, which I think were makers, uh, well they're still makers, I'm pretty sure, but I think this one was from the 50s or something like that. As you can see it's a European size 42, I'm not sure what that means. Um, I think it's roughly a size 12, maybe? I am not a size 12. Uh, I got this second hand obviously <laughs> on Etsy for, I think it was around 150 pounds. So obviously that's still quite a chunk of money, especially for something that is second hand. But I'd heard of this brand before. They're a very well-known brand um, and apparently they're really good dress forms. This was a bit of an impulse purchase, I'll be honest. I was really frustrated with my dress form situation and I was browsing online late at night and I just got paid, so it's a bit of a bad decision. But I'm hoping it will work, basically. And so here's my plan for it. So this is made of a hard shell. Again, something I didn't know when I bought it. It didn't say online and I didn't think to ask. Because I thought it was such a good deal, I just snapped it up without really thinking. But this is a hard shell, which means, again, that um, pinning into it is not great. But I mean, it's not harder than the first dress one I had, so. Um, you might be able to notice that I have already done some changes to it. Um, I, this was because I wasn't planning on filming it, but then I thought maybe it might be helpful, so here we are. What I'm going to do now, so this is obviously a standard sized dress form. One of the things I really like about it is that you can adjust it in size because of the long pole. And it has a very heavy metal base, uh, which means it's quite, like, it's quite sturdy. It doesn't look very sturdy there, but... The other thing I had an issue with when I first bought it is that I think there was a piece missing. Um, and I couldn't quite get it to stay, so like the pole would fall down to its shortest length and I couldn't adjust the length. But then I got a clamp, maybe I can show you, hang on. And then I got, well this seems wildly inappropriate, but I got a clamp for weights, for weightlifting. And this just holds this in place so that I can adjust this uh, at will. And that worked really well, so if you have an issue like that with something that you've bought second hand, this, these kind of clamps, I think it was 8 quid from Amazon, Great, works great. Um, but yeah, so this is the the vintage Stockman. It's very beautiful. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is that obviously this isn't to my size. She's beautiful, but she's not me. 
So what I've decided to do is I'm going to use some polyester boarding to build it up to my measurements. So the, the thing I was very certain to do is that I bought a dress one that was smaller than me so that I could pad it up to my measurements. And this means that I can adjust the padding in the future as my body changes, so it should be okay. So I've already started by doing a layer of the wadding. I think this is, it's recommended that you do it in strips rather than just wrapping the whole thing and then adjust where you need to. So this is gonna be a bit of a trial and error thing because obviously I've never done this before, but we're gonna try. Uh, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna check my current measurements and make sure they're correct. And then I'm gonna cut more strips of this wadding and I'm, I'm just pinning it on. I don't know if that's what you're meant to do, but that's what I am doing. I'm using these really discreet metal pins and I'm just pinning it on. Otherwise, like, I don't really know how I would do it otherwise. Okay, let's check measurements and then I'll do some padding. Let's see how that goes. Okay, so I've got my measurements and now all I'm going to do is I'm going to check my measurements as they are now and then just add little pieces of this wadding where I need it to be. Um, I've also given, taken some vertical measurements so I can ensure that when I'm padding, that for example, the dip of the waist is at the right location. Because for example, I'm more short-waisted. Yeah, like my waist will be up here. So I need to make sure that's where the, the curve goes in and then goes out. So wish me luck. Okay, so here she is. Um, obviously, I won't know if this actually works out until I have to drape on her. So I'll keep you updated on that. But the last step now is that I have got a new dress form cover for her. This is made of just stretchy jersey material. Um, you can make this yourself. I didn't want to, so I just bought one online. <laughs> I couldn't find any that were above size 12 in like shops, but I did find a really nice lady who does vintage dress form stuff and she made me this one so I'll link the website down below in case you're curious but yeah let's try to get this on let's hope it fits let's hope it works okay and here she is done um, I think she looks nice. Obviously, I won't know how well she works until I drape something on her. But I have some projects coming up soon, so hopefully we'll know. But yeah, this was a really easy and interesting thing to do. Um, obviously, it's a bit confronting about your body, and I still... When I look at her, I don't see myself in the mirror. I don't know. It's a bit of a weird one. Um, and I think I might have fudged up a little bit placing my vertical lines so I think I'm just gonna have to follow the ones that are inherent to the dress form and just pray it works out but yeah so this was my most recent dress form experience um, if you have any questions about the other two dress forms I mentioned just leave them down in the comments below if you like this video please consider supporting me on patreon uh, it is the support over there that lets me continue to do videos like this and you know continue to improve my sewing by improving my materials uh, and yeah, it's a journey. It's a journey, you guys. And yeah, I would like to thank my top tier patrons, Melly, Lutz, Emoli, Erin, and Alexa. Thank you so much for your support, and I'll see you all next week.